This channel will provide a lot of stories. If you are going to improve English listening, you can free to click the subscribe and bell button, then you will not miss any opportunity to practice listening skill. If you are looking stories for kids or students, here is the space. Subscribe me now. Thanks a lot. The Prophecy of a Start Prologue, The Prophecy of a Start The Prophecy of a Start is a collection of five tales about gods, monsters, and the people who fought them. It was written by a demon-warped old witch named Astart who hid it in the pages of a small book for safekeeping until its discovery. The first story involves a demon-warped priest named Ramsey who wanted to know what lies ahead in his future. The priest met with a demon who offered to tell him his future in exchange for his soul. The priest accepted the offer and was eager to hear what the demon had to say. The demon, however, didn't reveal all that the priest wanted to know. Instead, he told him a story about a witch who made a mistake that cost her everything. The second story involves a witch who once fought against the gods and monsters, but was defeated by one of them. The gods banished her to the human world and eroded her powers to keep her trapped in this realm. In exchange for her freedom, she made a deal with a demon. The witch's mistake cost her everything, but the demon kept his word and returned her powers. The third story involves a sea monster who once fought against the gods and monsters, but was defeated by one of them. The gods banished her to the human world and eroded her powers to keep her trapped in this realm. In exchange for her freedom, she made a deal with a demon. The sea monster's reward for helping the witch against the gods was also her freedom. The fourth story involves a demon who once served the gods and monsters, but was defeated by one of them. The gods banished him to the human world and eroded his powers to keep him trapped in this realm. In exchange for his freedom, he made a deal with a witch and a sea monster. The fifth story involves a hero who once fought against the gods and monsters, but was defeated by one of them. The gods banished him to the human world and eroded his powers to keep him trapped in this realm. In exchange for his freedom, he made a deal with a witch and a demon. Chapter 1 The Dark Priest The story begins with a demon-warped priest who wanted to know what lies ahead in his future. The priest met with a demon who offered to tell him his future in exchange for his soul. The priest accepted the offer and was eager to hear what the demon had to say. The demon, however, didn't reveal all that the priest wanted to know. Instead, he told him a story about a witch who made a mistake that cost her everything. This story takes place in a kingdom where witches were hunted, killed, and exiled from society. A young priest named Ramsey was an avid witch hunter and enjoyed his line of work. One day, he stumbled upon a crying old witch named Astart who had just been exiled from her village. Ramsey quickly grabbed the witch, tied her up, and threw her in a pit near the outskirts of the kingdom. Astart cried and begged for mercy, but the priest showed no sympathy. Chapter 2 The Witch's Mistake As time went on, people began to forget about Astart's exile. A new king took the throne and the kingdom's guards started to slack off with their witch hunting. Meanwhile, Astart sat in the pit crying and hoping someone would find her. In her despair, the witch made a mistake that cost her everything. The witch was crying and sobbing so loud that the gods above heard her cries. 
The gods pitied her and decided to end her suffering by eroding her powers. The gods were able to sense that Astarte had a demon inside of her and were eager to destroy the demon. They tried to destroy the demon, but it proved to be too strong. The gods needed another way to get rid of the demon, they needed a witch. Chapter 3 The Sea Monster's Reward The gods then decided to find a witch they could use to get rid of Astarte's demon. They found a sea witch named Morgana who was known for her skills in fighting and defeating gods and monsters. The gods offered Morgana two things, one, the chance to get her powers back and two, the chance to erase Astarte's demon. Morgana quickly agreed to the gods' offer because she wanted her powers back. The only thing Morgana wanted was to erase Astarte's demon and destroy the witch. Morgana traveled to the kingdom and found Astarte's pit. The sea witch walked inside and saw the crying witch. Morgana quickly grabbed Astarte and tied her up. The sea witch then flew away from the kingdom with Astarte in tow. Morgana took a start to a hidden island where no one would ever find them. Chapter 4 The Demon's Contract While Astarte was trapped on a remote island, her demon grew stronger. The witch was no longer able to control the demon because the gods had eroded her powers. The demon, however, was still bound to the witch's soul. The demon was desperate to get out of the witch's body and away from her. The demon knew the only way for him to escape was for a start to die. While the witch was trapped on the island, she heard the demon's voice inside of her head. The witch tried to fight back, but she was no match for her demon's powers. The demon told Astart to kill herself and end her suffering. The witch tried to fight back, but the demon was too strong. The witch was close to ending her life when she heard the demon's voice once again. This time, the demon offered the witch a deal. He would spare her life if she gave him the chance to escape. Chapter 5 The Hero's Lie Astarte knew the only way to get rid of her demon was to kill herself, but she didn't want to end her life. The witch was desperate and had no other choice. The witch accepted the demon's offer and waited for the right time to kill herself. While Astarte was waiting, the god sensed something was wrong. They found Astarte and quickly brought her back to the kingdom. Once they had the witch back, they attempted to destroy her demon again, but were unable to do so. The gods knew that a witch had to be responsible for the demon's strength. They decided to find the witch who made Astarte's demon so strong. The gods quickly found Morgana and interrogated her. Morgana begged for mercy and tried to say that she didn't know about the demon's powers. The gods didn't believe the sea witch and decided to punish her. Epilogue The gods used their powers to erase Morgana's powers. They then banished her from the kingdom and left her on the island where she trapped a start. The gods then used their powers to erase Astarte's powers. They then banished the witch from the kingdom and left her on the island where she trapped Morgana. The demons inside of the witch and the sea witch tried to fight back, but they were no match for the gods. The demons were desperate to escape and tried to bargain with the gods. The demons tried to bribe the gods with wealth and riches, but the gods didn't care. 
The gods finally destroyed the demons' powers and banished the demons to the human world. The demons' greediness cost them their freedom and their lives. Do you like the story? Leave your answer below. If you wanted to hear more stories, click subscribe and bell button. Thanks.